If you are an entrepreneur, one of the things that you will do very often is explore new opportunities. You hear about different social networks that are rising, that are getting more sales, that are working for a lot of people. You want to get in the action. You may hear about a new platform that is driving sales. There are many different opportunities, but the way that we explore those opportunities determines how successful we become. So in reality, there are millions of different choices out there. There are so many ways, for instance, that you can make revenue. You can make revenue by doing things in your community. You can make revenue by creating training courses. There are millions of different ways to make revenue, and there are millions of different opportunities. But not all of those opportunities are created equal. There is a difference between, let's say, getting featured in CBS or getting featured in some blog that, let's say, isn't getting as much visibility as CBS. Now, you do have to get featured in those other blogs in order to build your credibility, and it is nice to get featured in any blog, but the point is not all opportunities are created equal. And there are going to be certain opportunities that do take up a lot of your time, and you will eventually come to a point where you have to choose between one opportunity or the other. So in the instance of CBS or getting featured on the blog that doesn't have as much of an audience, Because on one day you could address the blog and the other day you could address CBS. So in that scenario, you could leverage both opportunities. But there are going to be certain cases where you are deciding between two different opportunities that it's basically choose one or the other. So you have to choose the right one that is going to help you grow fastest. So what most people do when they are pursuing opportunities is they will try to pursue multiple opportunities at the same time. They will go for all the shiny objects out there. They will go for any type of platform that someone made six figures on. And the problem with that is your time gets spread very thin. You may be pursuing Udemy. You may be pursuing publishing books on the Kindle. You may be pursuing AdSense. You may be pursuing affiliate. You may be pursuing all of these different things. And as your time gets spread too thin, the result is an abundance of mediocre results. It is better to get phenomenal results in one area than it is to get mediocre results in 10 different areas. So that's the main thing that people do wrong. They try to pursue all of these different opportunities, their time gets spread thin, and they don't have enough time to get significant results. So anytime you are approaching an opportunity, my strongest recommendation is to start with one. So social media, I was very confused with that for a long time. And the reason I was confused is because I was trying to master all the social networks at the same time. There was a point where I thought, okay, I'm just going to try master one. So I went to Twitter, focused on mastering that one. Now I'm over 265,000 Twitter followers and I'm able to do better on my other social networks because now that I master Twitter, it becomes easier to master all of the other social networks. So one social network, one stream of income instead of trying to have different streams of income. It's important to have those different streams, but in the beginning, you want to master one method So that once you master that one method, it is easier for you to master the other streams of generating income. So just focus most of your time on one particular opportunity. And then once you find the opportunity that works, all you have to do at that point is feed the beast. And when I say feed the beast, it's simply a way of giving an opportunity more time and revenue and anything else that you can give it. Time is in if you put in more time towards something that is already producing good results, you are bound to get better results. And revenue is, in some cases, maybe let's say you have a digital product, advertising would be very useful. You can use Google AdWords or something like that in order to get more exposure so that you can turn in a bigger profit. There are many people who once they create the digital product and it's successful, that's when they start doing the advertising because if it's profitable, and the ad spend is continuing to lead into a profit, then you just keep putting money into your product and it's going to keep leading into a bigger and bigger profit. That is the concept of feeding the beast. So once you master one particular thing, maybe you're mastering one social network or you master that one stream of income, once you master that one thing, you expand on to the next horizon. You go into the next opportunity. So maybe you're looking at the next social network that you want to master. Maybe you're looking at that next stream of income 
that you want to master. So once you master one thing though, it becomes increasingly easier for you to master everything else. So social media, for instance, if you master one of the social networks, I mean, they all follow a very similar pattern about how to master them. And then once you master one, it just becomes so much easier. Mastering Pinterest was very easy because I had already mastered Twitter. Mastering Facebook was even easier. So it's just a matter of mastering one thing and then expanding after that. And one analogy that will really like to strongly take away this entire lecture is a simple question. Are you a fox or a hedgehog? The fox tries a wide variety of tactics that really don't produce good results. And the hedgehog basically sticks with the one tactic that works. The story behind this question is that the fox is trying to eat the hedgehog and the fox tries a variety of methods to get to the hedgehog, but the hedgehog sticks with all of its spikes and all that stuff that keeps the fox away. So the hedgehog sticks with one particular thing that always seems to work. And the fox tries so many different tactics that never really work because the fox spreads itself too thin. So you want to focus on one very specific goal and then go after it. And then once you are able to get that goal accomplished, that is when you can actually start to expand. That is all for this lecture. I hope it has served you. And what I want you to do is to dream big, achieve greatness, and unlock your potential today.